right guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm picking up a bike. Uh, it's a crazy good deal. Um, it was up on Craigslist, it's a GT80. Um, it doesn't have a title, but it's up for 50 bucks. Um, I've never seen a bike up for $50 before. And all the time I've been on Craigslist. This is like, I had to double check and ask the guy if it was actually up for 50 bucks or 500. Um, because 500 is like a typical price for a GT80. So I was like, are you sure, it's, sure you want to sell it for 50 bucks? And he's like, yep. Um, he's like, it's at the end of my driveway. Just come by and uh, pick it up quick if you want it. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, and uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm on my way right now. So it's in Chilton, Wisconsin. Um, it's about, it's across the lake. I live in uh, Oshkosh and it's right across the lake, um, Lake Winnebago. So I'm going there, hopefully it's still there. I mean, it's probably the best deal on Craigslist right now. Um, do a quick flip on it probably and do a top speed test video on it maybe. I don't know, multiple things we could do with it. Uh, first we have to get it running though. Uh, it doesn't run right now, but he said it has good compression. So high hopes for it. So stay tuned, should be cool. I mean, can't buy much for 50 bucks. So I'm pretty happy. So yeah, I'll update you guys when we got it in the back of the truck. Yeah, stay tuned. All right, so coming up is a good view of the lake. There's a little farmer. Oh, wow, well, it's coming up. Yeah, right up here. Little farmers where you like go go to pick apples when you in the fall. Everyone goes there with like their boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Yeah, right there. That sign, little farmer. Um, you can like eat pumpkins. <laughs> eat pumpkins. You can like eat pumpkin pie and apple like uh, caramel apples and crap but look at the lake over there pretty sweet pretty sweet view oh that's our truck um, yeah it's a pretty good view right there of the lake Winnebago it gets even better when you get up here on this hill but that's not too shab and there's a bunch of windmills over here too it's kind of cool we're almost there by the way we're like we got like 24 minutes left, 16 miles. This road is really slow. It's uh, 55 miles per hour. But yeah, everyone's out like doing like water stuff and on boats and jet skis. It looks really fun. Uh, driving through Fond du Lac looked really cool. Um, but yeah, here's a little bit of Oshkosh. Well, I guess we're not in Oshkosh anymore. A little bit of Wisconsin, but yeah, here are the windmills. I guess uh, they put in like a hundred of them or something a couple of years ago they probably power a lot each one is like 12 million dollars so quite a bit of cash sitting in the windmills right there oh there we go it's a pretty good view too but yeah I guess the guy that's selling it is an, old, an older guy the guy selling the bike look at all the windmills and the view of the lake He's an older guy, and I don't think he knows too much about it. He said that he bought it for like a, a buddy system thing. I have no idea what he was talking about, but he said that it's time to move on and get rid of the bike. So let's go grab it quick. In a quarter mile, turn left onto County Road Y. Well, guys, looks like we got the bike. I guess he had like a hundred other callers on it, um, all wanting to offer like a hundred dollars for it, two hundred for it. And uh, he held it for me, and I bought it for 50 bucks. The cheapest the bike I've ever bought. Besides the uh, the YZ8, I bought for 20 bucks at one time. Well, this is the second cheapest bike I've ever bought. And this one's a lot better than the YZ80, I think. Um, I think it all, all it needs is carb clean. He said. Continue for two miles. And uh, good cleaning out of gas. And the gas tank. Yeah, that should be it. The guy was super nice and uh, really happy I got it. I guess I was the first caller. I guess sometimes it does pay to be watching Craigslist all day long. Um, today I worked on the RDs and a couple other things. So I'll get back home. We'll do like a little walk around to this bike. Check it out, see if we can get it running. And uh, we'll go from there, so stay tuned. 
right here's the great view right here of the lake look at that sunset and everything that's all the lake right there that's a sweet view look at that would you look at that pretty nice Alright guys, just got home. Here's the bike. It's a little GT80. Pretty sweet. Tires aren't too bad on it. Tank's really nice. Let's see what it looks like on the inside here. <laughs> Doesn't even open. But uh, motor looks really good. Chain's a little rusty. Uh, it's got the kickstand on it. All the lights on it still. The brakes on it. Let's see if it has compression. Oh yeah, plenty. Ugh. Yep. Let's see what the oil looks like in here. Yeah, that doesn't come off. Got the gauge up there. The key still in there. Which I probably should have taken that out. Let's see what else we've got going on. Let's go up here and look at the tank. Seat was reupholstered. It's really squishy and nice. If I can get the. Oh, wow. Get the original tank cap on here. Yeah. It's got the seal for the gas cap right here. It's not too bad in there. Not too shab. It's nice. Got the original key. Let's see if the key turns. Yep. 2,846 miles. Got the high, low, turn, horn. Does the seat come off? Let's see. Oh, yeah, right here. A little 6 volt battery. Man, this thing's sweet. And all for 50 bucks. Pretty good deal. So it also has the horn right there, the headlight, and the front fender is broken off. Um, looks like the brake is all there. Spark plug, uh, original petcock is there. Yeah, it's pretty much all here. I bought a similar bike to this. A while back and I think I paid 350 bucks for it and that was a pretty good deal um, usually these little bikes don't have the titles um, it even has the original plate right here which is kind of rare for these bikes so that's kind of cool but yeah pretty cool all right guys this is gonna be it for today hopefully you guys enjoyed until next time we are out